Hello and welcome to jkkmobile.com This video is now a full review of the EPC 901 and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, go through the device first uh, the basic review, go through the functions and so on but then going a bit more detailed on the hardware level and then compare, compare the 901 to the older version 900 so let's start with the 901 and its uh, porch and looks. So right here on the left side we, we can see the Kensington lock, uh, Ethernet port, one USB port, the, the fan exhaust uh, grill, microphone and speaker, plug holes, uh, the mouse buttons, the LEDs, SD card slot, two USB slots, VGA out and power. Then if we go to the back, we can see the battery. This time it's 6L battery, but it sits quite flush there, so not extending much. So you can see it's quite nicely up there. And on the bottom we, we can see the hatch for, let's open it, hatch for RAM, Wi-Fi, and uh, the bigger SSD drive. I will talk a bit more about those later. Okay, then let's open it. And now you can see the touchpad. It's again bigger as the earlier versions and mouse buttons. The keyboard is exactly the same as on the on the earlier versions, 700s and 900s. It's, it's the same keyboard, but now addition to the keyboard we have some uh, buttons over there uh, and two of the buttons are re uh, user programmable, so pretty nice thing. And the power button is now here. Microphone and another microphone, so there's a stereo microphones, which is really nice, and a 1.3 megapixel webcam. Screen is 8.9 inches which I like a lot okay let's turn it on it was on standby so you can see how fast it comes from the standby this is Windows XP on it and uh, it's already connected to Wi-Fi so pretty pretty fast on that I would always keep it on standby because actually this version is not consuming much battery when it's on standby. So, the basics of this device. Let's go a bit more inside it. It has XP on the 4 GB uh, SSD which is inside the computer and uh, XP is using a little bit over 2 GB so there's not much room left there but then it has the uh, another SSD drive which is 8 gigabytes on the XP version and uh, 16 gigabytes on the uh, Linux version and that's the slower one uh, that's uh, for files and uh, softwares so again ASUS is doing this uh, trick with the SSD drives that are uh, separate which, which I don't like but the good news is that the first drive is fast so it's good for operating system use I have some test results at my site, so you can check those out. Then, of course, like I said, we have the webcam over here, and the webcam is actually really nice. It's good quality, works fine, and so on. You can see me here. It's, it's okay. And now let's go through the buttons we have here. The first one puts the computer on and sleep or, or shuts it down. The second one actually changes the resolution but as I have updated my drivers uh, it doesn't now change it when I press it because I don't really need it. The resolution is just fine for me. Uh, the third one it controls the speed of the com computer. Uh, when you are on battery the default is uh, auto power saving which saves your battery life. That's dim the screen a bit so it doesn't affect the cam so much. So 
you get nice battery life with that and it automatically uh, brings the CPU down when you don't need it and super performance mode and high performance mode it keeps uh, the CPU down but when you need the power you, you will get even more on uh, this BIOS version there is different BIOS versions on the market so depending on your BIOS you get different uh, different CPU speeds so this is the newest BIOS 10 uh, or 1 so when I'm on uh, let's put it on super performance it's running at 1.68 uh, when you need it but on 840 when you don't need it and on the high performance mode it's running at uh, at 800 megahertz when you don't need the power and when you need it it updates to 1.6 and power saving savings it drops to 600 let's see 600 and uh, and goes up to 1.2 when you when you need the, need the power auto power savings means that uh, it drops to power savings when you are battery and then when you switch the switch the charge charger cable on it goes to auto high performance which then gives you the 1.6 gigahertz when you need it so this is quite nice settings you get good battery life and good performance from that but always when you need more performance you can you can easily switch the mode just by pressing pressing the, the button so let's keep it on high performance now which means it's it's now running 800 megahertz and and uh, going to 1 1.6 when needed performance levels I would say this is pretty capable device uh, I've been now using it with uh, Linux Vista and XP and I have been really happy with the results uh, I I get enough performance I'm now browsing Engadget which is quite quite heavy side and as you can see it has no problems of, of of showing everything fast and scrolling fast so I'm happy performance wise this is a very very capable device as a, as a small and inexpensive net, netbook uh, then if we look at the performance versus battery life I think that's one of the biggest uh, advances uh, with this device and with this uh, processor because as I showed you we have six cells of battery and uh, the rivals of, of the device typically have only three so half of this and when they when they have the six cell it's extends from the device but this has it by default so giving giving that to account I think that's a good deal for the ones that need the battery life. Right now I am uh, I'm uh, at 79% of the battery and it's showing me 4 hours 13 minutes. So that's a good figure. Uh, I'm, I've been getting 5 to 6 hours depending on the use. So when I'm at work, uh, when I'm mobile, maybe outside I use a full screen brightness and Wi-Fi all the time I get a little bit over 5 but when I'm at home the brightness is a bit down and I use it a bit, uh, bit lazier uh, then I get easy 6 hours so battery life is good uh, on that front the battery life really depends on what you're doing so if you want to have a good, really good battery life you can turn off all the wireless and immediately you will gain uh, almost an hour of the battery life so if you are like typing with the, this uh, or doing whatever you don't need the wireless but you need the battery life just turning them off will make a huge difference it immediately jumps to five hours on that use so if if we do ju just some opening the windows let's keep doing something and writing something so it still keeps keeps the battery life meter at six hour, uh, five hours and we still have the still have like a 79 percent left so really really good battery life on this this model 
let's close those a bit so good battle life nice performance what what else would we need well that touchpad actually because the second thing you need is it's actually a nice to use feature so as the touchpad is again bigger it's even easier uh, uh, to use and as, as it has the multi-touch features you can scroll with two fingers and one really nice feature of it, of it is that you with three fingers down you can sw switch from application to another so I can easily choose another application window just by dragging all, all three fingers down which is really nice and just like the earlier 900 model you can zoom pages you can rotate pictures uh, and uh, access right click menus by by three three finger click all these features uh, uh, work really nicely now especially if you have the newest software from uh, from the Elantec which is the maker of this uh, touchpad but uh, uh, with the with the default ASUS drivers they don't all work so you should upgrade the drivers it's it's good it's a good thing as I said earlier, the keyboard is still the same. So, as this device is the smallest, with the best battery life and best performance, I would say that the keyboard on that front is really good. It's good basic keyboard, but it is small. It's smallest uh, on the uh, other competing netbooks, uh, but if you really want to have small device you you must accept smaller keyboard you will learn to type with that not maybe touch typing because there is not room for all the ten fig fingers but you will adapt your typing as you go if you want to use a small computer like that if you really can't go with uh, this uh, uh, small keyboard then you should stop watching now because then the device can't give you anything I I'm personally really happy with the keyboard really happy happy as it keeps the device small I like it smaller but if if you are touch typist and you don't want to even try to learn using a small smaller keyboard then this might not be a good device for you but if you're seeking power from the Atom and actually this has the most power because depending on the bias settings you can you can get uh, from one 1.68 to 1 1.8 uh, gigahertz from the Atom CPU and especially if you're running it at 1.8 it's a really powerful device Vista was running really nicely on that so so there's no no problems I actually accidentally launched a software which brought the brightness up I will talk more about that software later so buttons nice addition keyboard nice addition um, mouse, mouse pad again bigger uh, there is some texture on the mouse pad which I don't like uh, if you have really really dry finger tips then it's not a problem but if there's any kind of uh, sweat or moisture on your hands it might get stuck when you're doing stuff and I, I don't really like like that that but I will talk more about that when I compare that to the to the 900 also on a touchpad you can you can nicely browse the uh, internet back and forward which is really nice if you use the tab touchpad a lot I, I'm I when I use that I actually use it a lot it's 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 nice feature so let's close those windows as we now have a good cam good mi microphones or, or actually dual stereo microphones we should do a Skype test so let's te test Skype okay let's test the Skype Skype calling on the internal uh, speaker and uh, mic calling Sasha. Hello Sasha, this is JKK, how is it? Hey, pretty good, how about you? Uh, it's okay, I'm doing a review of, uh, of the 901, so I'm, I'm, I'm uh, testing the Skype quality, so how is it there? Oh, wow, 
Well, sound quality is pretty good, and now just the webcam uh, turned on. Yeah. And hold on, I'm just switching it over to full screen so that I can see if there is, are any frame drops or something. Yeah. It looks pretty. It looks pretty good. It looks very good. Good. Um, good. Uh, in my opinion, um, a little bit better the image quality and the sound quality compared to the C900. Okay. So, uh, so this is good. yeah. So this is perfect for video co uh, video calling on Skype. Uh, oh, absolutely, absolutely. Good, good, good. You you don't have a cam on your machine right now? No, I'm okay. sorry. No, I'm it's okay. Not on a webcam machine right now. Okay, okay, good. So this was just a start, uh, short st test about the the cam quality and uh, microphone and speakers. So uh, as you can hear, speakers are fine on this end. Y do you hear any echo coming from uh, from the speakers on my side? Nothing at all. Good, good. It's so it's, it's nearly perfect, you know. Good, uh, good. I'm very impressed that you're using an internal microphone on a headset. Yeah, and actually, I'm not even close to the microphones because I'm right. I'm filming this, so m the cam is on on the way. So, so the stereo microphones are are really nice on this one. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. What about if I go even farther? Oh, can you still hear me? I'm now like a meter away. Can you oh still? Oh yeah, I can. I, I can still hear you pretty oh. well. That's nice. So I can. I'm now walking away. Yeah, like two meters. Just go to the other end of the room and okay. just say something. I'm saying something now. I, I I can still hear you. Oh, that's nice. That's really yeah. nice. Good. That's pretty cool. Hey, thank you, Shasha, and uh, we will come back with a with a podcast and a live video sessions with you. And I think you have some videos coming soon too. So. Oh yes, absolutely. Good. Good stuff. So this was Sasha from uh, epcnews.de, and uh, I let you go your way. Now I'm I'm I'll okay, continue great. my review. Good. Thanks. Okay. Take care, pal. Bye. You too. Bye. The 900 is like basic, basic normal uh, laptop like this. And I have a six cell actually right now here. So comparing these two, of course, uh, uh, the 900 is is more like standard design, but as it has the uh, 900 megahertz Celeron, it's slower, and you can feel it. It's slower. It's it depends what you are doing, but in overall, I would say 10% slower on on a any kind of use uh, which is not that bad bad thing but compared that with the battery life of this device it might be a bad thing because uh, if you if you buy the 900 with the with with the 4400 4, uh, 4 cell battery which is typical in Europe uh, I think in US in some places you get the better battery but in, in Europe and uh, Asia you mostly get it with the with a cheap 4400 battery, the battery life on this will be half compared to that one with less power or performance. That's something you have to remember. It's older, it has older uh, older uh, hardware, but for me this design and the weight is advanced. This weights 10% less, which is in my use, it's just right for my mobile needs. I don't actually typically use this t uh, six cell, but I, I just want to show you that because it, it still keeps it smaller than the uh, 901, even with that. But even with this uh, hundred dollar, over hundred dollar um, uh, high capacity uh, six cell, it can't give the same battery life than this with the same performance mode. If I run this at 750 or 600 megahertz then it gives about the same as as the 901 but uh, typically I run it flat full 900 with the brightness uh, up to 100% with the EC EPC CTL software so so I don't get the, uh, the same battery life than, than here other differences, the screens are the same, the webcams are the same, the keyboard is the same, the connectivity ports, everything else is the same, uh, VJ out, SD, the all same. The touchpad is a little bit bigger now, but there is huge difference on that, on, on my use, and that's the stickiness. 
because the 901 has this uh, weird, uh, weird, uh, I don't know, there's like cross patterns on the on the uh, mouse pad. My fingers get stuck many times. You, you can hear that sound. It, if, if there's any moisture on, on your hands or any anything uh, other than super dry, you get stuck with your fingers. Where the 900 just works. It's it doesn't have any kind of uh, uh, stickiness on the on the touchpad. I really enjoy using that. That I, I like it. Also, I like the fact that I can feel the feel that where the touchpad ends, where where in this mode uh, there is no no uh, physical uh, lines on 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 that way. Other than that, they work exactly the same. Uh, the mouse buttons on the 900 are exactly the same as on 901, but on 901 they are a bit wider from the center, so it might feel better. But for me, they are exactly the same. I don't, I don't see any difference in use. Uh, so, if you're buying something today, next week. I would say in all fronts, but the touchpad, but the looks. Oh, again, this is just my opinion. I don't like the looks of, of the 901 at all. Uh, 901 has better performance, better battery life, hands down. It's it's just just like it is. It's it's better on that front. So it would be easy for you then. Just just pick 901 and be happy. Well, actually, no, <laughs> because the thing what I have been waiting is coming soon, which is 900A. So it will look like this, which I prefer. It will feel like this, which I prefer. But it will have the hardware from this one, 901. So 900 with 8 processor is coming soon. Check my site, checkkmobile.com more about that. That one should come in two weeks and uh, it should have the same performance we have now on the uh, 901 on the smaller casing of 900 in my mind better looking standard casing not the fancy pansy like a 901 is sorry if you like it that's better for you because you can easy it's easy for you to buy it then i just don't like it so 900a coming uh main difference which i know compared to 901 will be that it has the 4 cell battery. Uh, again this is not 100% conf confirmed but looking at the pictures and and specs it, uh, it, it has the 4 cell 4400 milliampere battery which means it will be a 4 hour device so not the same battery as this have but it weights less, it's smaller, it's better looking, same performance but if I then put my 6L on it, it will be just uh, 5 millimeters bigger, like you can see here, and give me easy 7 hours of battery life. And that's what I want. This looks, this looks, this size, and uh, this functions with a 7 hour battery life. So, <laughs> sorry. It's not an easy, easy task to pick one, one of these e-pieces. And of course, next week there will be maybe three more devices to pick one. If I compare these two uh, to other devices, I would say on 900 series, uh, this 20 or 12 gigabyte versions are hands down better than the 16G version, which uh, are sold by some operators right now and also really cheaply sold on the, on the online stores. The 900G version is really low, slow because of the SSD drive. Uh, I wouldn't ever buy that. But if you like the cheapness and uh, you are going to stay with Linux, it might be fine. If you want to use XP and you are not ready to go uh, through all the tweaking and, uh, and uh, tuning needed to get it run nicely, don't buy it. Again, there is only like a 15 to 100 dollar difference on these prices, so today I would maybe pick the 901 if I had to pick 
something but next week, the week after 900A coming with an even better battery life with the 6L uh, if used as if it, it works with the with a standard uh, 900 and 700 series batteries which looks that way nothing is confirmed I have already pre-ordered mine so you will see see from my site how it's like uh, as soon as I get my hands on it I think really the main main thing here uh, on these uh, EPCs are that they are the smallest ones with a good battery life if we compare that this to the other netbooks like uh, uh, if we compare that uh, EPC 901 to to the Acer uh, one uh, Aspire one this is uh, like 20 mill millimeters smaller it has standard uh, 6L where the Asus, uh, Acer has uh, standard 3-cell uh, so of course this has double the battery life and faster SD drive the screen is about the same and on Acer it has the glossy screen which I think is okay the keyboard is one millimeter per key bigger it feels better if you are a typist but if you want a mobile computer I think that's that's not the not the thing you should should think. I like the looks of the Acer more. I again played it with uh, today and uh, and I like the looks, but I don't like the fact that uh, it has the three cell on it, two hours, two thirty minim uh, maximum. And if you buy the six cell, you you would have to put another hundred uh, on top of the selling price. So why not get get the 900 uh, with uh, with everything on, on one battery. Also on Acer the battery extends quite a big bit so it's uh, like 20 millimeters bigger than this one. Uh, Acer has uh, the MSI Wind slash uh, uh, Medion uh, Akoya uh, it's uh, again 20, 20 millimeters bigger than the Acer so 40 40 bigger than, than this one. That's the typist machine so it has the great keyboard it's of course because it's wider it's it's better for touch typing uh, 10 in screen I don't see any difference on, on if, if the screen is 8.9 or 10 it has the same resolution so there's no differences on that uh, same hardware on the other levels options for SSDs and hard drives uh, again that's a big device for my taste I really really don't like it but if you need a key good keyboard that would be maybe your choice other ones coming you can read the news at my site and uh, check more stuff comparing uh, the netbooks and UMPCs together if I get the 900A uh, in, in two, two weeks of, uh, I really have to start thinking if, if that w will actually be the perfect UMPC for me. Th I think the 901 really goes to the category where where this is uh, getting too big as a UMPC. But my trusty old 900 with with touchscreen is really really the the uh, UMPC I I I'm be been using. I'm when I'm mobile. This is the this is the device I I like and and use. But the battery life, the performance of the Atom, that's really something. I think this is a really, really good device. The looks are not that nice in my mind, but that's totally uh, my opinion. You may like it a lot and think I'm just stupid. You can, you can say that if you want. I think this one is the best UMPC, uh, uh, sorry, netbook you can buy today. Best battery life, best performance as you can overclock it with a uh, uh, touch of the button, and the best size plus weight ratio to battery life. This is this weighs the less compared to any other uh, netbook with the with the same battery life. I think that's 
enough for now. If I forget something, please ask. I can I can answer on comments. I did uh, all, uh, other videos with uh, EP01 with Vista. Check that out, out if you if you fancy Vista and also with the Linux version. So you can find those easily uh, at my site. Just type 901 Linux to search to to see that or 901 Vista if you want to see that. So this was all for now. Soon something maybe about the hardware on the 901 and then of course uh, the 900A. A will be soon soon here so let's check more about that. There are some accessories coming here so I will be testing those up pretty soon and some other UMPCs too. So see you next time. Thank you. Bye.